Hello everyone, Ferb here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Okay, so, what have we been working on the past couple episodes? We've gotten some stuff researched here, which is good. What do we want to go for next? Now, I want to go for advanced rocketry, but at the same time, I want to go for aviation. Uh, flight control isn't really needed, and basic science maybe. Well, basic science comes with a comms device, which could be useful, and the batteries. I'll explain more about those when we get to that. I think we're either going to want to go for advanced rocketry or aviation. But we can probably get a lot more money if we go for aviation. Because then we can start ferrying people around for some of our missions that we've got here. Do we have anything easy to, to do? We can do that one. And do that one. Okay. So some easy ones to do were that one. And uh, that one. Okay, there we go. Let's build some rockets to deal with this. Thud liquid fuel engine at splashdown. And stack the coupler at splashdown. Okay. Okay, so we just need to head over into the water, which is right over there. So it shouldn't be that hard. Hopefully. Hopefully this thing has enough fuel. Oh, you're not a pilot. Ah, oh. I, I always had pilots in here. Or did did we leave Jeb up in? We did leave Jeb up in the atmosphere, didn't we? That is something we have to take a look at. I completely forgot about Jeb. We gotta get him home. I think. I think that's what we did, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, we are now about to go back down. So I think I will deploy the parachutes now, get us to slow down, and speed up time, and we're going to splash down, and okay, now it's going to take a while to splash down. Okay, just fall, soft as a feather, here we go, down towards the water. All the way down. Now we just have to test some stuff. And we are good. I don't... Yeah. Yeah, so I... Oh, wait. I test these. Okay, so I don't activate them. I test them. Those I do. Um, yeah. Okay, so we are safe. We're good. So now I run a test on these. There we go. And, oh, so yeah, okay, and activate that. There we go, sweet. Uh, two contracts complete. We got a bit of science for those two, it looks like. Yep, nice, four science, pretty good. Let's take an EVA and do a EVA report. Oh, that's actually a lot of science, because we're like just over the water. Sweet, okay, let's board, let's do a crew report. Sweet. Okay. So I'm not going to do any more contracts for now. Because I... That's the wrong spot. Because we have a Jeb stuck out in the atmosphere. And he's just sitting there. And... Okay, yeah, I know. And we have to go and get him. So... Let's see. What situation is Jeb in? Okay, Jeb, you've still got liquid fuel and you've still got electric charge. I shut this off, right? Yes, okay, that shut off. So we're not using any electric charge. And SAS is off. Okay. So, what I think we're going to do is... Have we already taken a crew report? We have not. Not that it's going to do anything, apparently. Uh, we can't do ABA yet, which we want to upgrade our astronaut complex pretty quick to do. Because we can get a lot more science that way. 
So I think what we're going to have to do is take this back to Earth and hope for the best there. So if we turn electricity back on. Okay, electricity's on, SAS on. Uh, we're using the slightest bit of power. Let's go and rotate our rocket to retrograde. So that's around one more rotation from here. I could have just gone the other way, probably went faster, but whatever. Okay, so this is where we have to ignite our rocket to go home once we get into the correct position. So I actually might want to wait until I have a clear view like over here where I know we're going to land in the water because that's probably the best. I also don't want to land somewhere where there isn't any light so back here would be kind of bad so I'm gonna shut those off and I'm just gonna speed up time a bit okay so we are pretty good there we're pretty decent not the best but whatever good enough okay SAS on retrograde ready Bring up the map, bring up the nav ball, and burn retrograde. We're going to shrink our orbit down to where we're going to land in the water. Doing good, doing good. Keep going. Want to shrink it down a little bit more. There we go. Okay, we still have a bit of liquid fuel just in case. Now we can shut that off. Well, actually, we'll keep it really good. Okay. Now we're going to start heading back down towards the earth. So now our heat shield should protect everything and keep us good. Hopefully we land. Nice. I can shut SAS off because it'll just position itself nicely on our way down. Can I do a crew report here? Nope. Okay, so we need to slow down. We're slowing down. We're not slowing down quick enough. I think we did it. Yep, we slowed down quick enough, just barely, but we did it. Okay, guys, we are going back to Earth. Jeb looks very happy, so that is good. Just gonna land nice and soft as a feather back down to the ground. And everything is going to be great, and we're going to get more science a little bit. If this, just because this craft is surviving, we're going to get quite a bit of science. Well, maybe not a lot, but like, I'm going to get a bit. We're going to, there's a way that we can get a lot more science that I don't know if I've actually shown yet. But it is a great way to get science, so we're going to do that. If we do an EVA report, EVA report, okay, nothing good there. Uh, what about in the water? Can I do an EVA report? Okay, that works. Uh, board F B. There we go. Can we do a crew report here? Get anything? No, we cannot, but I'll keep the data anyway because why not? Recover vessel. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So a recovery of a vessel returned from Kerbin orbit. 10 science. So that's, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay. Oh. Nice. Looks like Jebediah has advanced to level 1. I'll show you guys what that means in a second. Okay, so we need to get a rocket that can allow us to get a lot of science. So I'm going to grab our rocket from uh, Rocket 004 was, I believe, the one that we were flying. So let's load that up. Was that really what we launched up? That must have been actually, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take that and we're going to add one new piece to it. Or maybe maybe two. Get, get a little extra science on the side. If we go to our science tab, we got the science junior. If we throw that in, you know, it'll allow us to collect quite a bit of science actually I don't 
I don't think we've used it before. But it'll allow us to collect quite a bit of science from our journey. Uh, there's also the Mystery Goo Containment Unit. I believe we've used it before, but I'm not sure, so I'm... I'll show that off again as well. So I believe we are good. We're at our max height, everything is good. Okay, let's save this to Rocket 005. And save it, and let's launch. So we take a look at our SAS now that Jeb has uh, advanced to level 1. You can see we have a bit of a menu here that allows us to automatically select prograde, retrograde, uh, maneuvers, which I don't believe are available yet until Jebediah gets to a higher level, uh, and a few other things that I don't know if they're available yet either, but we will see. Uh, some of these are probably, I think these six are, for sure these first two and the stability assist are, but I'm not sure, so I'm not going to say anything else. Let's take off. Uh, I haven't flown this rocket for a bit, so hopefully it still works fine. Okay, uh, we're ready. Let's go. There we go. All those struts keeping it together. We're doing good. We're doing fine. Everything is great. Now, I know we were having problems with it detaching last time. And I believe we fixed those, but I don't remember. Well, I mean, we would have had to fix, had to have fixed them in order to get up into orbit like that, but I don't quite remember, so that's something we're going to have to take a look at. There we go. So it's just the prograde and retrograde that were available along with stability assist now. So we can automatically switch to those, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we want to get into a good, stable orbit, and then get our stuff going. There we go, okay, begin our orbit creation. Uh, we we have quite a bit of fuel on this thing, which is good. I believe we needed most of it last time. That is like a vertical orbit, though, so that looks really weird, but whatever. So I believe now we just have to wait till we get up to our apoapsis. Uh, we're going to switch this to prograde. It will automatically maneuver us towards the prograde node, which is pretty sweet. So we don't have to worry about that anymore as long as we're using Jebediah. Now let's check the value of the science in the materials bay at the moment. 5.5, uh, okay, so that's not great. So we'll just reset the experiments and we won't worry about that for now. Uh, what about the mystery goo? Uh, that's 10 science, okay, I'll take that. I'll take the 10 science, that's probably as good as we'll get with that. Okay, so now we are waiting till we get up to our apoplepsis. Activate. There we go. Okay. Use up that fuel and get us a orbit going. And as soon as this runs out, we're going to get rid of it. Use our secondary engine. Did it do that last time? I think it did. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's something we're going to have to watch out for next time we launch this rocket. But for now, we are doing okay not the best but not the worst so that's good okay are we doing good we are okay we've got something going we've got it going we need that to get out farther okay, let's do something like that oh uh, what are we at here we've got we've got fuel we've got fuel not not a lot but we've got fuel now, as long as we can pass by Kerbin without being pulled into the atmosphere, we are good. So if I shut off our electric charge and SAS, now let's hope that we go by without starting to screw this up. Okay, so we are doing fairly good. 
Although I kind of want to shrink our orbit slightly. So let's bring this back up. Uh, let's turn it on SAS again. And let's hit retrograde just for a second. And bring our orbit in a bit. Because it's a little bit too big. Yeah, that's that's not pretty, that's not really good. So we'll bring it in a bit, or maybe we shouldn't, because uh, I'm not sure about the fuel I have. I'm not planning to leave this thing up in orbit, so maybe I won't. We will shut that off, and we're just gonna let it go into the deep space area over here, and then we will observe our materials bay once again. Let's head right out to our apolapsis. There we go. And now let's observe our materials bay. 37.5. There we go, guys. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that that high capacity science. Okay, now which button does a save? Okay, F5, so Alt F5 will allow me to name it. I'm just gonna name it A. So now we know if we screw up, we can come back to A and fly our rocket again and hopefully not die if we screw up, which is a good thing to do because we don't want to be doing this again. However, I do want to switch into retrograde, although I need to be on, I need to select that, switch it there. Okay, it's inside Kerbin now, so we're good. So, I will just leave our fuel like that, we will shut off our electric charge again, and we will wait till we get closer to Kerbin. Okay, we're getting close, there it is, um, Antarctica is freaking out like crazy, so don't think that's good. So we will slow ourselves down a bit until we run out of fuel, kick this off, and hopefully not die. So kick that off, and now we're going to get a B node set up. So I'm going to do Alt F5, and get a B, and hopefully not die. So now we wait. Okay, so they just hit the ground, and hopefully we don't do the same. Hopefully our parachutes can deploy and get us slowed down, or blow up. Oh, that was our... Okay, that's that's not horrible. I can live without the 10 science from that. Not bad. Okay, slow us down. Slow us down. We need to be able to deploy our parachutes. Parachutes deployable. There we go. There we go. We're safe. There we go. Our 30... 30... 30 what? 37.5 science is secured. There we go. Sweet. So I thought I would mention, I think the trick to not having everything blow up upon entry is to not come in at a steep angle like we always do. You should just have it circle around, go into an orbit, and just slow, like, like right when it, right when your orbit touches Kerbin is when you should, you know, leave it and just let go. And we might try that at some point, because that seems like it works a bit better. Okay, no crew reports. Uh, let's do an EVA. Nope, nothing. Okay, board, and let's let's do this. Okay, 81.7 science. There we go, guys. Okay. Either way, we're getting aviation. Sweet. Aviation is ours. Let's go build ourselves a plane. So planes are a little bit more complicated. Like, a lot more complicated, kind of, even though... It's like rocket science and stuff, but no, planes are pretty complicated to work with. So I don't really know how to work with them, but there is ways to do that. So after I got the tail connector, I believe it was... Uh, which one? It wasn't these wings, was it? Yes, it was these wings. Okay. Uh, throw that on symmetry mode, get ourselves some wings. There we go. Uh, throw some Levons on there which allow us to control our altitude just right on the back there we go uh... let's throw some uh... we actually need some fuel tanks first so let's throw some of those 
right there, and some engines, basic jet engines. No, okay, those are way, those fuel tanks are way too big for this. Mark Zero, that's what we need. Okay, there we go, and let's throw our engine, basic jet engine on there, and we need a small circular intake. Where was that? Small circular intake, there we go. And we need some wheels. Let's get some fixed landing gear. There we go. Okay, let's let's go test this thing out. Let's call it the the flying the flying wing machine. Perfect. The flying wing machine is ours. Okay, can that be supported on our stuff? Parts 18 out of 30, we're good there. Mass 3.6 out of 18, we're all good. Okay, let's uh, let's fly this thing. Okay, so we've got a pretty crappy... Okay, we're, we're rolling backwards. Let's uh, launch this thing, actually. And let's go. Yeah, we got a pretty, pretty crappy... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Why can't I think of this? Runway, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so we just got pull up, pull up. There we go. We're up. So flying planes isn't terribly hard until you get to the point where you gotta turn. Because when you gotta turn, I'm still not sure if I'm doing it right, but this is how I do it. You turn your plane like that, and then you pull up, and you turn and then twist back is what I've been doing so I hope that's right if it's not well whatever it works uh, notice also that we have a lot of fuel like we can fly for quite a long distance on not a lot of fuel because it doesn't get burned the same way that our other fuel does and if we were to add another couple engines here it would be even better so, where do we want to go? Uh, probably just go back and land. Now, landing is something that's something else. It's like, it, it's hard. It's hard to land. It's very hard to land one of these planes, but it's possible, obviously. So, we want to be able to ferry some passengers, so we got to get good at landing first. Bring our engines down pretty low. And we're just going to come in for a nice soft landing. Speed's back up a little bit, back down. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good, okay. Pull up. We're going down, but we're doing good. There we go. We've landed, but now we just gotta slow down. This this can take a while. Uh, brakes, I don't think will do anything. Oh, they will. Okay, so turn on your brakes. They will slow you down. I don't know which wheel I have that will do that. Maybe it's this front wheel one of the wheels that I have on here will allow the brakes to work I know some people can't get the brakes to work but it looks like it works okay so I think we can go and ferry people uh, let's recover vessel do we get any signs from that no okay well you know whatever uh, let's go check and see what exactly we have to do to ferry people oh but you've got to get a suborbital flight of Kerbin too Or is that something else? I'm, I'm confused about exactly how this works, but maybe we'll be able to get this going properly. Okay, let's see. If I accept this contract, will stuff show up where I have to go? Like in here. Oh, 
don't think either of those are places I need to go. Is it? Okay. Okay, so I just did a little searching on the internet, and it turns out that when you're ferrying people, you don't have to get them anywhere. You just have to get them into a suborbital flight and back, is what it looks like. I don't think we have any capsules that can take more than one person. Yeah, crew capacity one, crew capacity one. I don't think we have anything else, do we? Oh, crew cabin, okay. Okay, we can store two people in there, so we can take the two people plus the captain out into the atmosphere and back, because it says a suborbital space flight on Kerbin. I hope that's what it means, because I don't know what else it might mean. Uh, let's bring up our Rocket 5. Okay, we got Rocket 5 here. We're going to remove the bottom and remove that. Get rid of all science equipment on it. Okay, and now we're going to grab our... Where did our crew cabin go? That was in utility, and we're going to place that down along with that. And there we go. Okay, let's see how that works. Rocket 006. And you're still good there. You're all good, all good. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, which... What is our crew member on here right now? Okay, Jebediah, you will be flying today along with our two tourists who are in the Mark 1 crew cabin right there. Okay, save and launch. Uh, quick question, guys. Uh, how much are you paying me? Do I... Does it show me? Oh, it doesn't show me. Okay. No, I want to delete you. Okay. So, how do you guys think this will end? Do you guys think that we will be able to fly and not all die horribly? Let's see how it works. Okay. And we're ready for launch in 5, 4, 3, 2, and liftoff. It's pretty powerful, actually, this thing. You got, what, 8 solid fuel boosters? That's pretty good. How are you guys doing today? Uh, let's take a look around the cabin. It's actually a pretty small crew cabin. Again, I hope this is what I'm supposed to do. Because if it's not, I don't honestly know what to do. Oh! Okay, contracts are green. Contracts are green. So now we've just got to get them back to the ground. And we're good. Okay. In that case, we'll just get a nice soft landing back onto Kerbin. And everyone will be all happy and everything will be great. Uh, let's just get a bit of an orbit going though so we can get this pretty good. We can land properly. We do a... Oh, we can do a crew report here. Oh, uh, really? I have to have I have to have an actual person in there. Not just these two idiots can't do a crew report. Come on, guys. It's not like it's rocket science. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it kind of is rocket science. That that joke's way too overused in this game, isn't it? Probably. There we go. That's what I needed. Okay. There we go. Okay. We have an orbit. And we're doing fine. Okay, we're going to shut off power for now to conserve it while we get to our point of descent. So we're going to want to come around this way. We're going to want to land in the water, but we need to go around. Uh, we're going to land somewhere over here probably. We probably could have landed right there, but we didn't, so... Uh, maybe I'll continue going around, because I don't want to land over here either. Yeah, I think I'll be able to land over here. There we 
go. And now we're going to. Are we already on? We're already on retrograde. Look at that. No, don't deploy the shoots. There we go. And retrograde. Down, down, down. There we go. We'll land right there, and that's actually a pretty soft descent into Kerbin, which is great. Uh, we should get the fiery fires of fire right away. Okay, we slowed down, which means we're getting pretty close to the ground. And continue. Uh, what are we at in terms of electricity? We're doing okay. What are we at now? Yeah, let's cut that for a second. No, no. Bring it back, maybe. Do we need it? We're staying kind of steady, but not not perfect yeah let's bring it back just for a second shut it off bring it back we're gonna run out of electricity so fast we gotta shut it off for now gotta be safe yeah we're, we're, we're gonna continue along our path that heat shield is absorbing all of the heat so I guess we're doing pretty good Yeah, as long as nothing here overheats and explodes, we're good. Passengers are doing good. So if we get these guys to the ground, that's that's quite a bit of money, I think. What's blown up? That was probably the other part of our ship, wasn't it? Yes, okay. The rest of our ship is blowing up, but it deserved to because it's stupid. It got us up into space, but... It's not needed anymore, so we're good. We're going to slow down. See, look at how much faster we're slowing down now. There's, e there's like, no worry about crashing into the ground. So we're going to have to make sure we uh, calculate our descents a bit better from now on and keep stuff good. Well, I mean, whoever answered up in the poll in the top, whoever, whoever answered I wouldn't survive, well, you guys were wrong. You guys should have more faith. I have more faith in Ferb right here and like flying my planes and stuff. Speaking of planes, we haven't done much of that this episode. I don't even know how long I've been recording for. Probably been recording for a while and most of this will get cut out, but whatever. Because we still we, we ferried a couple people and that's that's good. That's success in my book for this episode. Okay, so if we just slowly There we go guys. And boom. Ferry two tourists safely to their destination. Okay, yep. Yeah. All completed. Perfect. Oh, we got quite a bit of reputation, too. Sweet. So I think we have enough money to upgrade our astronaut complex. Let's do that, because, yeah, we'll do that. Sweet. Okay. And we're getting close to enough science to do stuff here. Uh, now that I know a proper way to enter the atmosphere, we should be able to get that science from our Mystery Goo containment units that were screwing us up before and get some stuff from here. Just thought I'd do a couple of very basic things right now while we're waiting for stuff. Run test and activate. Sweet. Okay, let's do one more flight. Last mission of the episode. Hopefully we don't die. Okay. And cut engines. Activate. Okay, I guess I have to wait a little bit longer. Whatever. Just gonna fly away. Let's kick that off. And shut off SAS for now. Let the world deal with our ship as it may. Okay, we're landing on ground, so hopefully we don't screw this up. Yeah, we're definitely landing on ground. 
So we're going to get really close to the ground, but we're not going to land on it. And hopefully we should slow down quite a bit before we actually hit the ground. Is what my plan is. I really hope you don't blow up because you have some possibly really good science data in there that may also help me get a contract. So hopefully you do not blow up. If you blow up, I swear, you better not blow up. We're looking good, though. Our heat shield is using up whatever stuff it's got to slow us down. We're doing good. What was the, yeah, 22.5 science in there? Sweet. Danger, science stuff. Exactly. Danger, science stuff. Cannot afford to lose our science stuff if my calculations are correct which I believe they are was it 250 yes 250 they become available so we will wait another few seconds as we slowly slow down once we get down to about 3000 I will deploy them and parachutes deployed you know, I think this might be our first landing on solid ground. I don't remember. It might be. It might be our first landing on solid ground. Besides our plane, which, you know, I was surprised we I was surprised I was able to land that thing. I'm usually not able to land planes that well, and the fact that we actually got a working plane on our first go, pretty nice, pretty nice. Sweet. Okay, recover vessel. Let's pray. Pray that this works. Wait, can we uh, do a crew report now? We can. Sweet. Now recover vessel. First off, that's a lot of science. Second off, we completed the contract. Look at that. Okay, so before we go, we should probably take a look at our science that we have gotten and what to do with it. So what are we going to get next? Advanced rocketry or basic science? Now this is a hard one because basic science we can get rechargeable battery packs and stuff which allow us to transmit our data back to Kerbin because normally you can only like right now if we want to transfer data we have to have our rockets at full thrust to be producing power faster than we're using it to transfer our data back. Battery packs will allow us to fix that problem and also have a bit of extra power. So mainly I'd be doing this for the battery packs or maybe maybe for this thing too which allows us to uh, not have any crew on board. That could be cool too. So basic science is definitely something I'm looking at but advanced rocketry it's got some pretty cool stuff too. It's got the Terrier liquid fuel engine and a bigger fuel tank which reduces weight while adding more fuel and this Terrier engine is great for when you're out in the atmosphere for just maneuvering around a small ship. So it's something we want to think about I'm honestly kind of leaning more to what the heck why is my mouse moving around okay well there we go uh, I'm honestly leaning more towards basic science hmm yeah let's go with basic science for now I think that's the best option because we can get we can get more science then to get the advanced rocketry yeah let's go with basic science because it comes with a lot of cool stuff too like the thermometer we can use to get some extra information and stuff so yeah there we go okay guys so this episode what did we do we got Jebediah back home safely completed a bunch of contracts we got some planes going which is pretty crazy for a bit we uh, upgraded our astronaut complex to perform EVAs which is nice uh, we can place flags too which is pretty neat what else did we do we uh, ferried some tourists which was pretty sweet and I think that's about it so uh, yeah
go check this game out, guys, if you haven't already. It's on Steam. I won't put the game link down in the description again. I believe I threw it in the first time, so you guys can go check out Episode 1, or just go check out the playlist of the series if you want to get the game link, or you can just search it up, obviously, on Steam. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool game. It's definitely worth it. I've got over over 75 hours worth of gameplay on this game. Pretty awesome, guys. So, uh, first of all, the one signing off. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next vid.